So, Brian, what is your favorite thing about art? Flexibility. Flexibility? Yeah. I love, um, I heard a quote once, and it says, you create your own style by no one else knowing the mistakes in your head. You know, so I love that, you know, no matter what I do here, what I think it's supposed to look in my head might not come out exactly, but no one else knows it. So. Exactly. Okay, Brie and can you give us an, some insight into the piece that you're working on? Where did you uh, well, come up? Kind of doing a little abstract thing to uh, promote creativity, and you know, have like people draw their own conclusions from what they're seeing. I love using a lot of color, so I want to do like bursts of color with all the gray around here. So cool. What inspires you when you're doing art? Huh? What inspires you the most when you're creating? Uh, my grandmother. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. She's always telling me to stay inside the line, so I'm like extremely careful, like, you know, making sure everything flows properly and, you know, stays inside the line because I can hear her yelling at me in my head. <laughs> <sighs> So Brian is here doing our chalk up mural on the plaza at the museum. Our weekend workshop on Saturday. You're welcome to come for her instruction. And you can check out our Facebook page event for the times. And we have chalk available for you. But if you can't come, we're going to post this video so you can get a few instructions from Brie at Brianne as she um, as she creates her mural here at the museum. So go ahead, Brian. 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 Okay. <laughs> Hello. So today we are completing this uh, chalk art mural here, and um, I'm going to give you guys a few tips and materials as to what to use to create something like this. So a lot of people have been asking me if it's just regular chalk. So I've been using a mixture of regular street art chalk uh, by the company Joyin offline. Uh, this chalk works a lot better than maybe the Crayola stuff, it's a little bit softer. Um, and then to get the blended edges here, I've been using uh, these chalk pastels. So um, when you're looking for pastels, you want to make sure that they say chalk and nothing else because it will stain your floors. And then just to make the chalk stretch a little bit, I've been using tempera powder. Um, this just kind of fills in some of the cracks to make it look a little bit smoother. This is just going the extra mile, not necessary. Um, we've actually had some people over there create some chalk art just using the regular chalk and it smoothed out really, really well. So, yeah. That's awesome. So if you can, come out and join us at 1.30 p.m. this Saturday or you can enjoy doing this from your home. Correct? Yeah. Thanks, Brian.